Good day everyone, this is Rich for this edition of Learning with Rich. So for today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to add dimensions and spot symbols in our structural model. Alright, so in this exercise, I'm going to add uh, individual dimensions and dimensions to an entire wall. I'm going to show you also how to spot dimension symbols to show the top of footing elevations and... I'm going to show you how to spot slope symbol to call out the slope of the roof. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to show you first how to add dimensions to a concrete wall. Okay, so to do that, from my quick access toolbar, I'm going to select align dimension. Okay, I'll go ahead and select this one. And then I'm just going to zoom in here. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that the option here is uh, wall faces and individual reference. Okay, so it's very simple. If you're using AutoCAD, so you should be familiar with this uh, procedure. So I'm going to pick the face here, one, two, and then I'm going to pick outside, three. That's it. Okay, and if you want to move the dimension text here, as you can see, there's a blue dot there. So I'm going to click that and hold, and then I'm going to drag to put it here. Just for me to be able to see the dimension there nicely. Okay, and then another thing that you can do here is you can add uh, text here on your dimension. So you just need to select the, the dimension. And then you can click here the text. So you click the text. And then from the dimension text dialog box. So I'm going to add here my text. So let's say I'm going to add a suffix here. So I'm going to key in uh, TYP. Okay, so typical. So I select here OK. And there you go. Okay. Right, so let me show you another option to put dimension to your uh, wall. So let's say I'm going to zoom in here. Okay, here. Okay, so I'm going to select again my align dimension. By the way, align dimension, you can also select it from the annotate tab. So you can also select there your align dimension. So I select this. And then this time, instead of individual reference, I'm going to select here entire walls. Okay, so entire walls, wall faces. Okay, so I'm going to select this. Okay, so you see, you just need to click the wall. Okay, I'm going to place it here. There you go. So another option that you can use here is, aside from this entire walls, I can also go ahead and select the options here. And then let's say I'm going to select uh, intersecting walls. Okay, so I check this box. Okay, and I select here OK. So what will happen is, as I select this wall, it will also add dimension to the intersecting wall. You see there's an intersection here. Same here. Okay, so I'm going to select this wall. There you go. You see? Okay, so let me just place it here above. Pick. There you go. And then I select here modify. Okay, so that's how you place dimension. Okay, so next. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to uh, check out the elevation, let's say for example, of this uh, footing. Okay, so instead of going to your section view or elevation view to check out the elevation of this footing, so from the annotate tab, there is an option here that it, there, there is a tool here that is called the spot elevation. So I'm going to select the spot elevation here. Okay, and then I'm going to make sure that leader and shoulder here is checked. Okay, and then this option. So I'm now going to pick here. And then I'm going to pick another point. And then another point here. There you go. And then I select modify. So that is now the elevation of this footing. 
So as you can see, it's a very nice tool if you want to check the elevation of a certain element. Okay. And another thing that you can do here, you can also add a text here. So I select the dimension and then from the properties, okay, so I'm going to add here the value for my uh, prefix. Okay, so let's say I'm going to add the value to the pref uh, value, my prefix. Okay, this one. So let's say I'm going to key in here top of footing and then I apply. There you go. Okay, so let me just add another uh, spot elevation here. So I select here spot elevation, I click here one, two, click. Okay, modify. And then I select again the dimension here, and then I add the prefix, top of footing. There you go. Okay. And then from here, you can also modify your, uh, by changing the top of elevation, your spot elevation dimension here, by changing the value, it will also modify your, your the property of your object. Okay. So let's say I am going to select the top of footing, or I mean the footing. Okay, so as you can see, I can now change the value here. So you can use your uh, dimension here, your spot elevation, to modify the position of your footing. So I select this. So let's say I'm going to change this to minus 900. Okay, so minus 100. And then I just click outside. All right. Then I click outside. There you go. So as you can see, if I select the footing here, if I check out the properties, you will notice that the height offset from level now has changed to minus 900. All right. So you can also use your uh, spot elevation to modify the position of your footing. Okay. Okay, next. So after I show you how to create dimension spot elevation, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to open here the roof, or I mean, let me just open the section here, ah, elevation, elevation 2-A. Okay, so this is my elevation 2-A. So let's say, for example, I want to check out what is the slope of this roof here, this one, this basic roof, metal deck. So I want to check what is the slope of that. So again, from the annotate tab, I'm going to select here. Uh, spot slope okay so I'm gonna click this okay so I click this one and then I'm going to click on the upper side so that the position of my my slope is at the upper side so I pick here there you go and then I select modify okay so let's say you want to change the slope of your roof so I can click the roof Okay, and then from the properties here, I can change the slope here. Okay, expect that the uh, spot slope will change also. So let's say I'm going to type here 2.25. And then I apply. There you go. So see? See how Revit changes the slope of the roof from the properties and it also updates on your spot elevation okay very nice okay and in case you want to change the the unit okay you can go to un command you can type un okay and then you can modify the values here okay you can change the length area volume angle slope currency mass density for common and you can be uh, specific also discipline okay let's say i change the slope instead of doing that so let's say i'm gonna select here uh, one is to ratio all right and then i select okay and then okay there you go okay w t so that's our exercise it's a very simple exercise. 
and hopefully you learn something from this video you can download the exercise file I have put it on the video description if you have any questions comments or suggestions you can just put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can all right so once again this is Richard and I'm very glad to have you again and have a nice day. Bye-bye.